Is there a perfect takeaway for every club in your bag? Well, I think so. And a matter of fact, something that you learned to do when you were in kindergarten, draw a circle, can actually help you improve your takeaway with a wedge, a seven iron, and even a driver. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today we're gonna talk about how do we improve our takeaway and how is it that literally the shape of a circle, something that we did when we were a little kid can help us understand what we should be doing with the all important part of the golf swing, the initial takeaway. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna do a wedge, we're gonna do a seven iron, and we're gonna do a driver. Now, the first circle we've got down here, and I'm using my live view, I love using my live view, you hear me talk about this a lot when I'm working on concepts and circles and shapes and stuff with the student because it's such a great visual tool for them. So, small circle, you'll see it right here, is in the red. Now, here's the key concept you gotta understand before we dive into this. If you, you gotta understand this first basic principle. We're talking about what I'm gonna call the radius. The distance from the butt end of the club to your center, okay? So just bear with me as we go through this and we're gonna get into all the fun stuff with the circles. So this distance that I have, let me show it from down the line here. This distance that I have from the butt end of the club to my center is a certain distance and we're calling that a radius. Now, that's gonna be different with each club. That's why we've got three different circles on here. Okay, it's gonna start tying together here, but that's what we're talking about. And the key concept is maintaining that radius that distance in the initial part of the golf swing. Now it gets a little bit different as the swing gets longer, we'll talk about that. So here we go. I'm gonna get in my setup. Got the ball in the center of my stance. I'm aimed slightly left of the target. I've got the club face slightly open. These are all concepts that I've taught you before. If you haven't already, check them out. We've got some great videos on chipping. So I'm sitting here, notice how the circle, the little one there, the red one, Okay, so when I swing this back, let me make a couple practice motions. It's a super cool visual here. I love this visual. Notice how when I swing this back, notice where my hands go? Boom. They go right along that red circle. Okay, now why is that important when it comes to chipping? Well, here's why, and I bet you've never heard this before. When you, radius, right? The red circle. When you make that circle, you get it set up, this is, I'm start with a red circle, right? If I make that circle longer, if I extend the club further away from me, what I have done is I've gone from a red circle to a yellow circle, okay? That's a problem. Now why is that a problem? Because everything you've done in the setup is based around the red circle. So I'm setting right here, okay, watch, I go back, perfect, okay? Notice it just worked right along the circle. Now. If you make that circle larger in the takeaway, what happens is, is you lengthen the club. And if you lengthen the club, especially in chipping, it's a little different when we talk about the seven iron and driver here in a second. But when you lengthen it, if you don't do anything different, what's gonna happen? You're gonna stick the club in the ground, right? So if I set up here, let's say for sake of discussion, this distance is 18 inches for sake of discussion, right? Well, when it's 18 inches, the club's on the ground. If I take this back and I make this 24 inches, i.e. I make my red circle larger, if I don't change anything, this club's gonna hit the ground. And this is where people get into a lot of problems with their chipping. This is why the circle's so important. You're set up here, they get set up good, and then they lengthen the circle, and then they try to narrow the circle. So they're going from longer to shorter. And that becomes a lot of problems. They start chili dipping them, sculling them, shanking them, you name it, all those types of stuff. So does, does that make sense? I know that's a lot to digest right there, but we're gonna talk about the seven iron and stuff here in a second. The circle, the initial circle with the chip shot is a smaller circle. And what you wanna do, let's get back here, this is a great visual, is you wanna maintain your hands. See, see how they work? The hands work up and in, back down the circle, back up and in, always maintaining that same distance or that same radius. Okay, hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, ask the questions, put them in the comments, I'll do my best to answer those. Hey, do me a favor, also subscribe to our channel, tell a friend about US Golf TV, check out usgolftv.com, we've got a ton of different content over there that can help you out. All right, now, 
What about this? What about the seven iron? What about an iron? You're thinking to yourself, okay, I get the concept, Todd, with a chip shot. What about a full shot, like a seven iron shot? Okay, same concept. Okay, bigger circle. Why is it a bigger circle? Well, because I've got the yellow circle. It's a bigger circle because I'm standing further away from the ball. Chip shot, red circle, seven iron yellow circle, a little further away from the golf ball, right? Now, in the initial takeaway, I'm still working, notice that, I'm still working that yellow circle, okay? In the initial takeaway, now what happens when people get in trouble with their takeaway, okay? Is, is that maybe they drag it inside, okay, I'm out of the circle, or they go too far out, okay? This way, they've got all types of different things going on in their takeaway. If I can get a student to get set up right, and their first move is right along that circle, just like that. That gets their club face squared up. Let me go ahead and hit one. Okay, felt pretty solid, maybe a little bit thin. But if I can get that initial takeaway correct, that can really help them. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, wait a minute. What about as the swing gets longer? Now, there's going to be some debate on this. And I don't know... I don't know if I have a strong feeling one way or the other, because I see great coaches who talk about maintaining that radius the same, okay, and they're super successful and their players get better. And I see some talking about make, helping them get, you know, get the club further away from you, and they're super successful. So I don't want to get into that debate today. That's not really what this video is about. This video is about the takeaway, and how can I get my takeaway correct to give me the best chance to be successful. So let me, re let me go through this, and then we're going to talk about the driver. Okay, now if you got questions, put those in the comments, or maybe you don't agree with what I have to say. Maybe you don't like my circles. <laughs> maybe you don't like the colors. I don't know. But that's okay too. I like hearing from you as well because you might teach me something. All right, so here we go. I'm set in there. I got the yellow circle. And initially, see how my hands work up and in just a little bit? They don't get further away. See that? That's not on the yellow circle. Okay, nor is that. That's not good either, right? Just on the circle. Initially, first two or three feet. Boom, right there. Love that position. Uh, that was a little bit more solid. All right, are you with me so far? Hopefully you are. Now, the driver, the big dog. All right, this is a good one here. Let's talk about this. Get a couple, get one teed up here. Hopefully you're learning some stuff on this video here today. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about, and I love the visual with the live view here. Now, I got the blue circle. Bigger circle, right? You probably know exactly where we're going with this, all right? All right, and what I want to share with you is something that's about slice with the driver. If you slice your driver, pay attention because this is going to help you. All right, here we go. So I'm set in, I've got a bigger circle. Now you already know the answer to this, but why is the circle bigger? The circle is bigger because I'm further away from the golf ball. The radius is larger, okay? But the concept in the takeaway is still the same. See, it's still right there. See right there. Now some might argue as they take it up that their hands stay right on that circle. Some, some coaches would teach that. I'd be hard pressed to argue with them because I've seen people teach that and I've seen people get better at golf doing that. You know, some might want you to get your hands further away outside that circle. That's fine too, I don't really care. Like I said, that's not the point of the, uh, of the video here today. So I'm right here, see? Just right there. Now, let me go ahead and hit one and then we'll talk about slicing. So here I got, I got the bigger circle I'm going to focus just on that first couple of feet, moving up and in on the circle. Okay, that felt solid. Really good. Really good. Very, uh, very, very seldom do I have a student have a good takeaway. I'm talking first two or three feet and then hit bad golf shots. Not very often. You could do my job if you could literally teach the first two or three feet of the golf swing. All right. Now, what about if you slice the golf ball? Here's typically what I see for golfers who slice their driver. When they're set in there, okay, they might have good setup. They understand this concept of the circle, but what do they do initially is they, they drag it in here. See how, the, see how the club just, it went inside that circle. My hands got lower. Okay, the hands did not work up and in a little bit. Okay, so let me show you. Let me make it more obvious. So I'm here, right? Right here, down the line, right? They go this way. That's not on, that's not on a circle. It's more, they got to work more here and up. See that? They go in. This is a slice move all the time. Right there. So let's get, let me do it with the club. All right, here we go. Big circle. Blue circle. 
Boom, right there. Love that move right there. Notice where that club's at? That's a great position right there, okay? Really solid. So when we're talking about the takeaway, I don't care if we're talking about a chip shot, I don't care if we're talking about a seven iron, I don't care if we're talking about a driver. Understand the concept of the initial takeaway and, and what you should be looking for in maintaining that race. Understand the difference in the circles. Red, yellow, blue, why are they different? Because each club is different. The concept and the goal is the same, is to hit a good quality golf shot. So the takeaway is the same, all right? When you're talking about the first two or three feet, 18 inches of the takeaway, I don't care if you're hitting a chip shot, a seven iron, or a driver, the first initial move is almost always the same. Now, once you get moving beyond that, okay, there's a lot of things that are happening that are different. But hopefully what you've learned today, and something that you did in kindergarten, as simple as drawing a circle, can help you understand what your takeaway should be, and more importantly, start hitting some good quality golf shots out on the golf course.